If you went to solar to escape Pakistan's sky high electricity bills here's the shocker the rate you get paid for sending extra solar power back to the grid is being cut to around rupees 11 per unit down from rupees 25.98 now what was net metering under the traditional net metering your exported units could offset your imported units so the grid acted like a battery and many households saw major bill relief but the question over here is that what is changing now the board say the government is moving towards non billing gross metering style rules where exported electricity is bought at a fixed lower rate about rupees 11 while electricity you consume from the grid is still being billed at the regular tariff contracts are also being shortened from 7 years to 5 years and there are indications of tighter compliance requirements like licensing thresholds one question arises that why is there a cut well officials and analysts argue net metering shifted costs onto non solar consumers rooftop solar growth has been linked to a 3.2 billion unit drop in grid sales in financial year 2024 and around rupees 101 billion in revenue impact fueling the tariff pressure for everyone else now there are a few important details for existing users nepras published presumer regulations 2025 indicate the old 2015 rules may be repealed but also include savings language for existing agreements so the fine print on who gets grandfathered and how billing transitions will matter a lot now what should you do well you should if you already have solar check your agreement term keep your paperwork and start planning for a world where self consumption matter more than exporting if you're planning solar run the numbers again because your payback period could change overnight